Good morning everyone, it's Uncle Laurie here with a Sunday shave. I'm not doing a sample today. In recognition of um, and celebration of the 4th of July in America, I'm going to do a American soap from Shannon's. Shannon soap, the um, city of champions. So something a bit uh, bubbly, which is a take on um, a champagne style scent. It's got a bit of a vibe of champagne, but I get more like a, oh like, a like a mixed berry fruit yogurt or fruit tingles. But, uh, sweet, a little bit sweet, not overly sweet. Very nice actually. I'll see how it lathers up. It's quite uh, a good strength off the uh, the pack. Bit of medium strength there, not overpowering. So today, um, got my brush shaking here. Now I'll squeeze it out. Squeeze the water out. I had it soaking. It's my Billy Goat Monolith from Billy Goat from George. And he's an Australian brush maker. He's doing some wonderful um, hybrid brushes recently, which are very nice. I'm hoping to get one of those hybrids one day. So I'll as you can see, I've already had it uh, soaking, so I'll start uh, my lathering now. Uh, I just start up making a bit of a, a gel mix. This soap is uh, it's quite soft, soft, but not not cream. More of a croak. Let me show you there. I can, I can push my finger around. So, a little bit sticky. So I've already made a sort of a, a bit of a paste there, as you can see. So I'll start adding water now and we'll build a leather from here. Nice leather going now. Beautiful. So I'll wet the face. Put my um, pre-shave on. Today I'll, um, I'll use the Artisan Dan shave soap. Which is the olive, olive oil soap. Olive oil base. Find this quite useful as a pre shave. So I just massage it into the beard. because now my fingers are slippery after playing with that so I'll paste it on. Just have another look at that leather before I start using it. Beautiful. I'll just take a bit off. Yes, still a medium strength.
Yeah, I do smell a bit of grape in this and a scent as well. It is a nice, happy scent. So happy, um, happy 4th of July to all my American friends who might be watching. AC blade single edge razor. I've got the um, the Pro Guard Feather Pro Guard blade in it today. This is the first time I've tried these blades, so we'll see how we go. We'll start. Got my normal two days growth. Well, that's nice, pretty efficient. Job on that first pass. Yes. Not sure it's socially acceptable shape, but that was a good pass. Since I've used this razor, I have I do well, I had the professional blade in there. The stand their standard blade in there last time and I'm pretty sure this is a mild, feels a bit milder than the other one. Okay. 
Okay, second pass against the grey. Slickness. So. It's, uh, the head is very small, as you can see. Very maneuverable. feedback I always get the feeling that the, the blades gonna spin in my hand The handle's um, aluminium, so this razor is very light. Uh, I'm not sure how many grams, I think it's 40, 40 grams or so. Okay, nice residual there. My neck area that's going against the, not against, but across the brain, going up, going across that way is against the grain. My beard sort of grows out that way from the centre. So far, so good. No. No mix. I won't say anything yet, I haven't finished it. But uh, after that cross the grain pass, I would be happy to go with work to work with that. But we'll do another pass. And I'll just put a bit more water on. Very nice. I can feel that residual still there. fingers so we don't get the race of the spin of my hand right against the grain you probably can see I'm using the pretty standard angle there about 30 degrees Where you can ride the cap a bit like this. Seems to work alright. Mm, very 
very smooth. And comes a tricky bit. I'm trying to do it without doing it against the grain pass on my upper lip. Remembering, I think I had some weepers with the professional blade. I shouldn't say anything yet. Still not quite finished. Touch-ups. That's pretty good. Oh, just do a little bit around the normal areas. Nothing on the upper lip. More alum on my fingers. So this is going to be a BBS, which sort of surprises me.
Beautiful. It's a very nice shave. Very close. Well, I'm gonna call it a BBS shave. That's lovely shave. And that soap is giving a, a nice aftershave feel. Yep. Shannon's is a good soap, at least I think it is. Just put a bit of alum on. See how we went. Wow. Literally no tingles at all. Despite being smooth and close. Nothing. Wow. Rinse off the oven. And I've still got, as you can see, heaps of lather left over. So we'll use that as a bit of a skin scrub. Go and have my shower and come back and do my post shave routine. Hi everyone, I'm back from my shower and my skin feels very smooth. Yep, I'll call it a BBS. It's a lovely 10 out of 10 shave. There's no weepers. No signs of um, razor bone. I had no um, irritation or no zinging from the alum when I tried that. So that's a wonderful combination. The just reach for it. The rasta with the um, Pro Guard. ProGuard, ProGuard Blade. So we'll just do our uh, quick poche. I'll use the uh, TN uh, Dickinson's to start with, Witch Hazel. Yeah, it's very smooth. No irritations. Lovely shave. And we'll follow that up with a bit of the, um, the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. That's a, uh, a keeper, definite keeper, but razor and blade. While that's um, vanishing, I'll go over the, uh, the products we used. Well, I used in my shave, rather. Right, we started with Shannon's City of Champions soap, which is a bubbly champagne style scent. And I still get that fruit tingly. Um, mixed berry fruit yogurt type scent to me. Maybe I just don't drink enough champagne. 
to uh, to say what whether or not that smells like a champagne. And the brush, we use the big Billy Goat brush, monolith. It's got some nice colouring in the brush here. Swirly colours, shiny, pearling, has pearling in it as well. Very nice. And that's got a 26mm um, synthetic knot in there, a synthetic um, silver tip knot, which is quite firm. As you can see, got uh, quite a good amount of backbone in that. And the razor I just had before was the Yaki Rasta with the standard aluminium handle that it comes with. I might try a different handle with it next time. And the ProGuard blades, which are absolutely fabulous for me. Sharp, yet still efficient. Or sharp and efficient, but still mild on my skin. And uh, right, that's all. Yep, it's vanished. So I'll put a bit of splash on. I'll go with the 4711 today. Very nice. Can't go wrong with something that's been made since the middle 1800s. Classic scent. That's lovely. Uh, another bright scent, secrecy scent. It's a good match, I think, with the, the champagne, a bit of citrus. All right, um, that's my shave for today. And thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave on Wednesday. And I'll be you in Australia, so catch you then. Cheers.